This is the result we're looking for. Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and close this one up here, and um, we will start from scratch. So let me do that. Okay, with these two images open, the one of the boxer that I have here, and the one of the water, I'm going to play with the one with the water first, and I want to grab this big piece of water. And to do that, I'm just going to grab the uh, lasso tool, and and I'm I happen to be the rectangular marquee tool is the one I'm using, and I'm just going to surround this area right in here. Once that is surrounded, I'm going to drag that selection over to this image over here. Uh, grab my move tool now. Once I've done that, I'm going to come in here, click and drag and drop. Now these two pictures were taken at uh, different uh, different resolutions. This is an sRGB and the one that I'm dragging it to is an Adobe RGB. That is OK. We just want to click OK here. Not a problem. And it's going to drag that piece of water on top of the screen. And it's not large enough, so we're going to make it larger by going Control T and grab a corner holding the Shift key down. Grab a corner and we want to make that larger. And we're going to put it right in front of his fist here to where we think that's in front of his fist. We're going to drop the opacity so we can kind of see where we want that to be. I'm going to continue to drag it right in there. Looks good. Bring the opacity back up. And from there, we need to accept it. Hit the Enter key to accept transformation. Once in here, click on the FX key with this layer highlighted. Click the FX. And there's a blending options, the very top option. Click on that one. And you're going to get a dialog box that looks like this. And with this one here, we want to work on the layer that we're on here. And we're going to hold the Alt key down and click on this black dot. And it separates. Notice how it separates the, the two and makes two dots now. We're going to slowly drag this in toward the middle looking at what we have behind. So what, what we're trying to do is we're, we're getting rid of all the blacks and just leaving the highlights in. And that's what we wanted is we wanted the black to leave. We wanted the shiny water to stay. So we're just going to bring it down to where we think it might work. Uh, I happen to be at 117. That looks good. Click OK. And I want to put a mask on this layer now. So I'm going to come up here with the, with the mask icon. Click on that gives me a mask with the black swatch to the front and my brush tool hitting the B key with my brush tool activated I'm going to zoom into the area by his hand right in here and I'm going to slowly mask his hand so I can see everything inside his hand I may drop the opacity here so I can just see his hand knowing what I'm going to erase try that again again uh, resizing the brush so I get his thumb perfect right in here and just start working around his hand I'm going to do the rest of this offline okay so now I have masked out the water in the middle I'm going to zoom out so you can see what it looks like and it looks like he's breaking through the water that's perfect that's exactly what I was looking for now I'm ready to add the text and again go over the type tool Click someplace on the on the canvas that you want to add your text, and I'll add the word breakout right here. Uh, the uh, font that I really like for this, and you may have to download it, is called 28 Days Later. I really like this font, and I'm going to call it breakout. And notice I've got black here, so I need to change this to red. That's, I think, what I had in the video. So I'm going to type in breakout, and it's too large, obviously. So I'm going to highlight that, bring this down to about 24, see what that looks like. Looks pretty good. Breakout, I think I spelt it right. It ran off the side. Let me grab my move tool, move it over, and I have breakout right here. I can add a cool text here, and I had his initials DH right here, and I'm... I, I'll let you figure that one out. And then over here, I changed this to a 
coming to a theater near you and we'll do this again and I'll do this one offline and there you have it it is a uh, real easy thing to do it's the blend if play with those have fun and enjoy